Hi guys, hope you're well. Today we're going to embark on our statistics lesson covering regression lines and exponential models. So what exactly are regression lines? Well, put it simply, it's the line of best fit within a scatter graph. More precisely, it's used to model linear relationships between two variables. However, we have to use logs as a form of coding to compare with the equation of a straight line y equals mx plus c. Now, in order to break down any questions involving regression or exponentials, we need to be able to place them in one of two models I'm about to explain. So let's look at model one. Now, in, in this case, model one has a function y equals ax to power n. And in this case, a and n are the unknown constants. We have codes used as y equals log of y and x equals log of x. So what we're going to do with that, we're going to look at that function and take logs on both sides. So we take logs on both sides, we naturally have log of y equals, now just be aware here that axn is a product of a times xn, so we can naturally separate that using the laws of logs. So we have log of a plus log xn. If you look at the second line, you notice that the n is now a coefficient. That's because, again using the laws of logs, the n can be transposed to a coefficient or stay in power form. So we have log y equals log of a plus n log x. You can see that n's moved. We then compare that with our codes. We have y equals c plus n x. And naturally, log of a would be the c, which is our constant and n will now remain as our gradient. Now to work out a, we have to undo log. So to undo log, we do 10 to the power of c, and then n in this case remains as m. Quite a lot to take in, but it's easier to understand when we base model one on an example. So this is an example that we're gonna be doing. We've got a regression line y equals negative 0.2 plus 0.82x. Let's just focus on that function. We obviously have a straight line graph. We have a gradient of positive 0.82, and we have a y-intercept of negative 0.2. We are given codes y equals log t is equal to y, and log of n equals to x. Now the question here is find the equation for t in terms of n in the format, and this is our function, t equals a n to the power k, and a and k are unknown constants to be found. Now this is based upon model one. Question is, where do we start? We start at the function t equals a n to the power k. Now if you remember from model one, we have to now take logs on both sides. So we're going to have log t equals, I understand there's a product here, so I can separate that with an add sign. We have log of a, add, and then log of n to the power k. And don't forget this k here can be moved as a coefficient in front of that log n. And that's what we're going to do on our third line. Log t equals log of a plus k log n. Now it's really important that we compare that with our codes. We have log t, but we know log t from our code is y, equals log a, which we don't know, so that would be left as log a, add, and log n happens to be x, so we have k x. If we compare that to mx plus c, this must be our c, and here, this k must be our m. So, if we move on from there, we know that we have, from our question, a gradient of 0 0.82, so that means k would equal 0.82. We have an intercept of negative 
Well, we can then say log of a would equal our constant, which is minus 0 0.2. Now, the question was a and k to be found. Well, we already got k. So we can say and say safely that k is 0 0.82 log of a equals minus 0 0.2 so we can say a to undo that would equal to 10 to the power minus 0 0.2 now if you work that out you happen to get 0 0.631 k remains as 0 0.82 so we have a function t equals a n to the power k and you end up with t equals 0.631 n to the power 0.82. Now that was an example based upon model one. I did say earlier this is one of two models, so we now have to go to model two. So model two is y equals kbx. Now notice the difference in the position and the displacement now of x compared to model 1. Here, if you get a question based on model 2, k and b are the unknowns to be found. We are given codes, y equals log y, but here, because it's model 2, x is simply x. So if we move, move on from model 2, go to the next line, we're going to take logs, like we did before, of both sides. We have log y equals log of k, plus log bx, again the separation with an add. We then go to the second line where we can move that power x as a coefficient. So we have log y equals log of k plus x, x log b. And then when we compare that with our codes, we have y equals c plus log b x. Now in this case, if you preempt it, look, we're gonna have to now undo the k and undo the b. Now to do that we have to do 10 to the power for each one. So we do 10 to the power c and 10 to the power m. So the common difference between model 1 and model 2 because of the design of that function is we now have to undo log twice as opposed to once for model 1. It might be easier to remember model 1 once, model 2 twice. So Let's do one example based upon model two, and you can see the clear differences between that and our previous question. So we ha now have a regression line of y equals 2.14 plus 0.4 x. Let's just focus on that. We have a gradient of positive 0.4, and we have an intercept of 2.14. We are given codes y equals log of h and x equals t. Question now is find the equation for h in terms of t and this time the format is given as h equals a b to the power t and here a and b are the unknowns. So how do we start? Well if you remember from model one and the previous example we look at our function which is going to be h equals a b t and what we're going to do now we're going to take logs on both sides so we have log h equals log of a and notice we've got a product here so we can have plus log of b to power t Third line, I can have log of h equals, I drop my log a, and like last time, that t here can be transposed to the front, so we have t log b. We're now gonna compare that with the codes that you see. We notice that log h is y. Log a is my constant. Log b, is going to be dropping down and t happens to be x so we have log b x we compare that with y equals mx plus c this log a 
would be my C and this would be my M. We now need to work out and find A and B by comparing with the question. So we know that our constant from the question is 2.14, that's our y-intercept. So we can say log of A equals 2.14 and subsequently our gradient is 0 0.4, we can then say log of B equals 0 0.4 and to undo log we do 10 to power 2.14 and 10 to power 0 0.4 respectively. If you work those out you would get 10 to power 2.14 as 138 to so 3SF and 10 to power 0 0.4 as 2.4. So when we have to put that as a function h equals a, b to t, we can then write h equals 138 times 2.51 to the power t. Hope you understood that. Hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to keep pausing, rewinding it, and hopefully next time I'll go on to our next stage of modeling. See you later.